Whew, what's going on guys man a lot going on around here summertime well at least feels like summertime to me it's cranking into gear i know some of my northern friends heck they haven't got out of the snow yet but anyways um you know a couple weeks ago i made a video you know i put the new outside hydroponic system up and i put some stuff in buckets and i had the aquaponics thing you know and it was all growing uh, the cherokee purple tomatoes and some cucumbers so, you know, I wanted to kind of update that regularly. It's not really a growing contest per se, but it's three different growing methods, and I just want to see how each one compares to the other. Now, the gap being said, the tomato plants that have been in the hydroponic system, or the aquaponic system, excuse me, have been in there the longest. Then it went into the hydro and then into the dirt. Started from seed, but they didn't get out of the transplant until, like I say, the hydro was a little bit later and then those. The buckets, the container buckets were a little bit later still. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you in two weeks from the last video. Actually, it was April 19th that I think I made that video, and today is like the 4th. So, you know, time flies when you're growing. <laughs> just time flies anyway, especially the older you get. But anyways, I'll go ahead and show you guys what kind of growth we're seeing here. And I think you're going to be like, man, that's something else right there. So hold on. One thing I did was I cut back the tomatoes pretty heavily in my aquaponics system, and it kind of hurt them a little bit. I mean, I don't I cut them back way hard, and they kind of started drooping a little bit there. Um, they've come up recovered because right when I cut them back, you know, it had been cold weather, and then the heat just came out with a vengeance. So, anyways, here's the Cherokee purple. I'll give you the better one. You can see where it is. It's almost at the top rung of the cage, and I trimmed a bunch off of this, and it's still. It's producing. They got some tomatoes in there. See if we can get up on a couple. Doing pretty good. Um, the other one here got hurt a little bit. It's like it's drooping. I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. Um, I mean, it's got some nice little tomatoes on there. But I think it's where I cut it back too hard, possibly. And here is one that's a cherry tomato plant. I see the same thing that kind of happened to it. When I cut it back, I cut it way hard. And it really started to, but it's coming back around now. I got a lot of new fresh flowers on it, so I'm thinking we're going to be doing pretty good there. I might as well go ahead and make this an aquaponics update while I'm doing it. You remember the, the pepper plant that was right here at the beginning of the, the system? Well, I'm trying some experiment with it. Like I said, this is a two year old plant, and it was so slap full of peppers, literally. I just said, you know, I want to just whack the heck out of this thing, clear it out, get a lot of these little peppers off here so that I can. Uh, kind of clear out the way for some new growth and it took a little bit of a hurt but it seems to be coming back pretty decent you know no problems there the kale is still doing what it does you know the basil is basiling right along you know the swiss chard and uh here's another two swiss chard is charting here's another pepper this plant is two years old and i didn't cut this one back and it wasn't doing as well but if you look in there man there's some nice peppers going on in here check it out and those are pretty decent size right there's a good bell pepper size right there this kale plant is starting to represent a tree more than anything and then we have our little pineapple that's still kicking in full gear so let's go here and take a look so yeah everything's going good in the aquaponics so let's go ahead and take a look at our container buckets here and check them out if you can go back and look at that older video, you'll see, man, these things have really taken off. The cucumbers in there, those are like a, you call them a bush cucumber. I'm gonna see how they do. You can see down in here, check it out. We got some really nice cucumbers forming. It's really starting to put out um, the tomatoes, Cherokee purple. Now these are a little small in the aquaponics, but like I said, they were, they got put in there a little bit late, so. But all in all, I mean, I think they're doing really well. I got to stake this one up. But yeah, they're doing pretty good. I'm going to do some other series on just regular container gardening because I like doing that a lot. And so I'll be putting some vet videos together on that. This cucumber plant here is starting to show a few flowers in there, but not really a whole lot of, of cukes. So let's go ahead and check out the hydro tomatoes and see what we got. Bam. 
Holy smoke, is that a bush or what? If you go back and look at that video two weeks ago, you can see the growth from two weeks. It's tremendous. And I'll be honest with you, these tomatoes, I mean, I can't hardly keep the, um, the nutrient solution in the reservoir. I put in, uh, let's see, about 40 gallons, not even a week ago, in about four days, it was pretty much gone. And so I've been having to really keep on top of that. These cucumber plants here have really taken off. Like I say, this is a traditional just vine and cucumber here. Cucumber plants got a little yellowing down on some of the bottom flowers, but that's typical. And uh, But it's got a, a lot of cucumbers. You can't really get in there to see them. A ton of flowers, but it's starting to do its thing. And then over here, these are two more of those bush cucumbers like you just seen in the container buckets. And if you look at them, man, those things are growing well. There's one. There's another one right there. So they've come off pretty good. But you know, you wouldn't believe this, but when I trim the tomatoes in the aquaponic system, I trim these hard as well. And I mean, I cut a ton of foliage off of there. And look, they're just right back to where, I mean, <laughs> they're packed to the rim. But they got a lot of flowers on. Let's see if I can find some tomatoes in there. I know I seen them earlier when I was, um, yeah, there's some down in there, some little ones. But there's also some big ones. I can't, I saw them in here earlier. I guess I had to start waiting until, there's a nice little one right there. You can't hardly see it. But if you go back and look at that video two weeks ago, you'll see that, man, this is my first year actually using, this is using the Master Blend formula. And, uh, which, I mean, it's really kicking some booty. Oh yeah, there's some nice cukes down there. There's one. That thing's gonna be ready in a couple days. Yay, I need some fresh cucumbers. So anyways, guys, that's it. I would say right now that growth-wise, the hydro has kept caught up and is surpassing. I'm really digging these things. I think I'm going to get me some nice tomatoes this year. Oh my goodness, am I thrilled with that. Anyways, um, so yeah, if you got any comments, questions, or anything on this, this growing techniques, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, any questions about setting up a hydro system, it's really easy. Gosh, don't be intimidated. It's so easy. And it grows so well. Um, but just let me know. Put it down in the comments section. And I'll keep this going. I'm going to try to upgrade it weekly now because they're growing so fast. Um, they're getting really, really huge. And so hopefully I'll be able to get you guys some good footage. And hopefully get one of those big, massive tomatoes. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like, hate, whatever. You know, hopefully like, not hate. If you hate, I get it. But at least leave a comment of why. All right. Anyways, guys, have a great afternoon. See you in the next video.